on parliamentary democracy. If Israel has a distinctive political culture, this is it. Some parliaments have debates, Israel has shouting matches. Competition is the lifeblood of any healthy democracy. But sometimes Israel's politicians seem to be competing for who can dive deepest into the gutter. Take resident bad boy Oren Hazan, calling a colleague too ugly to be a prostitute when she calls him a pimp. Coalition whip David Bitan and Mickey Zohar heckling bereaved parents. <laughs> Healthy democracies need passionate arguments. But in Israel, discussions get so heated that lawmakers are frequently dragged out of the hall by ushers. And that's only when they don't stage noisy walkouts first. It's normal for lawmakers to heckle their colleagues. Sometimes all hell breaks loose. When Arab lawmaker and resident provocateur Hanin Zawabi returned from trying to break the Gaza blockade, Anastasia Mikhaeli charged the podium to physically stop her talking. Years later, Zawabi was still daring colleagues to come and hit me. And who can forget the moment Anastasia Mikhaeli threw water in a colleague's face? What MKs have in passion, they match in creativity. Like when Ilan Gilon shouted at far-right extremist Bensi Gopstein that he was the foreskin of the Jewish Ku Klux Klan. Yes, you heard that right. Sometimes the insults are more sophisticated. After the incident with a cup of water, MK Ahmed Tibi responded with a poem, ending with a play on words for your mother's, well, you get the point. And then the cheap gimmicks, such as Mayor Porush handcuffing himself to the podium, or Kadima MK spraying air freshener in protest at what they called a smelly trick, or Ahmed Tibi again literally pouring cold water on a bill he opposed. In a democracy, elected representatives should reflect the people they serve, but they should also set an example, because when those who make the rules are unruly, civil society will only become, well, less civil. Some of Israel's leaders know this is a threat. Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein scolded MKs, saying their last session would hardly be remembered for its culture of debate or appropriate public behavior. Whether the right dishonorable members will listen, well, first they'll have to stop shouting. Calling the House to order, this is Elon Levy for I-24 News.